Perhaps the best word to describe Opabania is bizarre. With five eyes, a forward-facing proboscis a third of the length of the body and a mouth that is not only on the underside of the body but faces backwards, and you end up with a creature like no other we know of today. But actually it was quite a typical animal for the Burgess Shale arthropods of the Middle Cambrian and Anomaloarids are the largest known. They were flat, free-swimming, segmented animals that possessed two grasping appendages in front of their mouths. These consisted of a dozen or more jointed segments, which could be curled like fingers to grasp prey. Anomalocaridids were not particularly large by modern standards, but during the early Cambrian, they would have been among the largest creatures on Earth. Their raptorial great appendages and large compound eyes suggest that they were apex predators, lying at the top of the Cambrian food chain. However, computer modeling of Anomalocaridids' mouth parts suggests they were possibly better suited to feeding on smaller, soft-bodied organisms by suction, since they would have experienced structural failure if they were used against the armor of trilobites. Ampelectobellua species, in contrast to Anomalocaridids, were smaller and had a much wider body front with eyes placed lateral to the mouth. The preserved contents of Cinderhan digestive tract are typical of those of other predators and this lifestyle is supported by the raptor-like nature of the spiny great appendages and the size of the eyes. It was really similar to the related Patoa with a radial pineapple ring mouth and used their appendages to filter water and sediment on the sea floor to find food. A hollow spike-shaped shell protruded from the front of the head of the herdia. The function of this organ remains mysterious. It cannot have been protective as there was no underlying soft tissue. Egia vacasis is considered to have evolved from early predatory anomalocarids and became a giant filter feeder like modern whales do. With its two meters long it was probably the largest animal in the world. Tamiziocaris was a smaller filter feeder anomalocaridid. Megachira is an extinct class of predatory arachnomorpha that possessed a pair of short enlarged appendages. Most of them were found in marine environments throughout the world during the Cambrian. Isaxes may have been a tropical species, its eyes appear to have been adapted to different light intensities. A specimen lived in waters around 140 meters below the sea surface, whereas another was exposed in lightning waters. Alaupomanus is a very rare animal, so was described on the basis of half a dozen specimens. Its body terminated with a paddle like telson which probably helped to propel the organism while chasing its prey. Yohoya is assumed to have been a mainly benthic creature that swam just above the muddy ocean floor, using its appendages to scavenge or capture prey. Arthropleuro is an herbivorous millipede and it is the largest known land invertebrates of all time. It was able to grow larger than modern arthropods, partly because of the greater partial pressure of oxygen in Earth's atmosphere at that time and because of the lack of large terrestrial vertebrate predators. Myriapids breathe through spiracles that connect to a tracheal system similar to that of insects. Although not generally considered dangerous to humans, many millipedes produce noxious secretions which in rare cases can cause temporary blistering and discoloration of the skin. Large centipedes can bite humans but fatalities are extremely rare.
crustaceans form a large diverse arthropod taxon. The majority of them are aquatic but a few groups have adapted to life on land, such as terrestrial hermit crab and woodlice. Most of the major groups of crustaceans appear in the fossil record before the end of the Cambrian, but the validity of Crustacea morpha is controversial. It has more support among paleontologists who consider it a sister group to Arachnomorpha. The Thylacus Fala are a unique group of extinct arthropods, with possible crustacean affinities, but no conclusive proof exists yet. They are bivalved arthropods with morphology exemplified by three pairs of long raptorial appendages and hypertrophied. The compound eyes tend to be large and bulbous, and occupy a frontal notch on the carapace. Some efforts have been made at further classification. Paleontologists split currently known taxa into two orders the Concavicarida, which possesses a well developed optic notch, a fused rostrum, and a discrete compound eye, and the Conchiliocarida, which lacks optic notch and eyes are on a protruding sac like cephalon. Dolichrys was too large to swim, so inferred a predatory lurking mode of life lying in wait on the seabed and then springing out to capture prey. Some suggested it could be necrophagus. But there's a lack of knowledge about even basic thylacocephalon anatomy and behavior, and the problem is exacerbated by the limited number of thylacocephalon species known. Romopedia is a class of blind crustaceans found in coastal aquifers which contain saline groundwater, with populations identified in almost every ocean basin so far explored. Malacostracans live in a wide range of marine and freshwater habitats and three orders have terrestrial members, they are abundant in all marine ecosystems and most species are scavengers. Wapshire were very shrimp-like in their habits, they were bottom-dwelling deposit feeders. The lack of strong feeding appendages indicates that they were more likely to feed by sifting through the sea bottom for edible organic particles. Their tails and the feather-like filaments on their posterior thoracic somites also imply that they were active swimmers. Mechachyrus is an extinct species of lobster-like decapod that was abundant during the Jurassic. Shrimp of the family Alvinacaridae generally inhabit deep sea hydrothermal vent regions and hydrocarbon cold seep environments. Carotenoid pigment has been found in their bodies. Phronoma sedentaria live in the barrel like bodies of subs and pyrosomas and use their strong pleopods to propel their homes through the water. Giant isopods are a good example of deep sea gigantism as they are far larger than the typical isopods. Proposed explanations involve adaptation to scarcer food resources, greater pressure or colder temperature at depth. Arian is an extinct genus from the late Jurassic that may have fed on particulate matter on the seabed. Yeti lobster has strongly reduced eyes that lack pigment, 
and is thought to be blind. The hairy pincers contain filamentous bacteria, which the creature may use to detoxify poisonous minerals from the water emitted by the hydrothermal vents where it lives. Crabs are decapod crustaceans which typically have a very short projecting tail usually entirely hidden under the thorax. They are generally covered with a thick exoskeleton, composed primarily of highly mineralized chitin and armed with a single pair of claws. They typically walk sideways because of the articulation of the legs which makes a sidelong gait more efficient. They can communicate by drumming or waving their pincers. Crabs tend to be aggressive towards one another, and males often fight to gain access to females. Crabs make up 20% of all marine crustaceans caught farmed and consumed worldwide, amounting to 2 million tons annually. Crabs are often boiled alive and scientists community concluded that crustaceans could not feel pain, but recent research found that hermit crabs reacted to electric shocks. This may indicate that some crustaceans are able to feel and remember pain. The Japanese spider crab has the greatest leg span of any arthropod. Two species belonging to the same genus have been found both from the Miocene of Japan, 